channel here i'm going to explain expandable list view let's see how to we implement in easy way let's... hello guys if you are facing an issue to implement expandable list view in your ios so you can take overview so that you will implement in good way so let's see how we are going to implement this is our view controller hope so you have the knowledge basic knowledge of the ios so this is the view controller class so these are an array name is product array so here i am in the view read load assigning the items to the array so each item has one section junk food gym exercise teacher these are the section name and below are the items which will we will see in the in expandable list watch the in this simulator like this junk food it contains own attributes gym exercise contain its own attributes and teachers which kind of the subjects like this kind of the attributes so let's see here these are the array work and here we are pending making one array which will be passed to the table view and after that we will make a expandable list and uh, what i have done here this is the cell registration for the header and this is a cell for the items or attributes so see here where i have designed the classes this is this is the normal cell where i am assigning the items and this is the class PE finalize cell the class name whatever you want to can keep and this is my header where I am taking a one label where I am assigning the name so th this is have all different class these are the two classes which I am using the table view cell so watch here this is a view read load what i have done in this kind of the things this is the product one model which i have made in the separate class you can see it also here product name class model where i have taken one name one keyword is is opened one another is a uh, one item and one initializer we have operated in this way and this is the item which any section have a contain own attributes that is a different another model so you will call it in the view controller like this and i have made three times so i have appended in one array like this so it will contain the three items with the sections so the total number of count is three now proceed further there is a delegate and data source functions for the expandable list what i have done number of the sections I have passed the one array which I have already made above the count is showing here so like this three section will be shown due to the number of sections now proceed further number of the rows how much we will see in that expandable watch here what I have done with the array that array product array is opened i keyword is used 
it will tells you your expandable list that section is open or not that is in the form of true and false see here what will after is if it is open we will passing the number of items here count which containing attributes which have already assigned here like this so if first section has three count it will pass your three rows in that expandable if it is opened if it is not open it will pass you one cell which is showing its own name like junk food if it's closed if it's open it will shows you three rows one its own header section total rows four for every first cell contain header like if array contain four items so array will start from the zero the last item will be with three and zero contain first cell junk food and now come to the down height will contain a 60 each row containing a height 60 now will i will come to the point of cell for row <clears throat> see here as i have already, already told you index bar dot row equal to equal to zero the cell is here for the header i am assigning name this is for the header and what are the attributes in there when we will expand this this is our below cell and we will pass the product array and which containing items how much three three items we already know the item name i have assigned to this this is our cell work now how it will uh, work when we click on the one first section second section so it will work due to this see it product array index bar dot section is open we will check it is false we will make it true due to the exclamatory sign and it will keep this value and after that i will making a one loop for each and i am making is open every one is making false because when i clicked that section will be open otherwise other section will be closed accordingly so which i have selected the cell it will open and make it true and reload the table and after that your table will reload and it will comes to here this function back and it will check that section which we have clicked and it will check is opened is true then your control comes here and give the pass count here in this way your function will be run and your index path zero contain what's the name first contain the name is your section name and after in this way your cell name comes in this area so hope so this is the whole conclusion of my code and it will works like this thank you guys if you understand properly or if you want to take a code i will show you on github you will collect over there thank you thank you for watching my video if you want to download this code please click on this link description in bottom if you want to see my videos in upcoming so subscribe my channel my upcoming videos like payment gateway social media apps chat box many more related to the videos 
Peace, keep in touch. Thank you.